The Wollongai pine is um, one of the rarest conifers in the world. It's probably a hundred left in the wild in a remote part of New South Wales. Um, it's been on this planet for over 200 million years and these are the last remaining trees of this species. With the big forest fires they've been having over in Australia, it was decided that it would be a really good idea to try and safeguard these outside of their native environment. So because the Wallamina pines have come from an external source, which is Bedgebury, we need to um, quarantine them for a period of time. This is just to make sure that the plants are clean, healthy, just so that we can make sure everything is good before then things go into the garden. The, the conservation of these trees outside this na the native range and safeguarding them in you know, prime horticultural institutions is really, really important so we can propagate from these trees at a later date if needed to replace any of the trees that go missing in the wild. This represents the largest you know, conservation of, of the genetic material uh, anywhere in the world really, especially outside of Australia. So the, uh, the Willemis here, they've been in, in quarantine for a long time now, probably about six months. Uh, we know they're healthy, we know they're carrying any diseases, so they're, they're about ready to be introduced to their new home in the garden. We've redeveloped this area here that we're standing in for, for the Willemis and some companion planting as well, some herbaceous plants and some other shrubs. Um, and it's my job really to take care of them and make sure that they, they thrive in their new environment. And here at Wisley we, we focus a lot on, um, on ornamental horticulture. So um, as well as having the Wellemis, we have a lot of companion plants that are going in with them to really create a garden feel to it uh, and to create an ornamental garden. It's a great privilege to be involved in this ex situ conservation project with the Sydney Botanic Garden. And these genetically diverse plants to the regular eye might not look that much different but having a more genetically diverse population is always better for the conservation and the future of a plant group. Very much like us, our own makeups reflect, you know, react differently to viruses or stress. So more diversity is important. And then having them spread through different gardens through the UK, in the RHS, that's at Wisley and at Rosemore, but there are other places and other tree collections in the UK taking part in this, which will help spread them and hopefully help safeguard their future uh, on this planet.